Is that the, that's a helicopter. Yo, they got the whirly bird on us. Yo, yo, open the door. I stopped complaining, I'm ready to go get it. I had to get focused and stop paying attention. I started slipping, my pump started itching. I had to stop thinking, I need something to listen. I got some niggas that come from the bottom, they handle my shit from New Hampshire to Richmond. Y'all better party and fucking talk. I broke like I spoke on myself for position. Never lose focus, I lack on a mission. I mean, what I say, don't got time to pretend. I don't got time to fuck around with you. What's up guys, it's your boy Kieran Mr. Rockoff Johnson here with another video and we got something cool for y'all today. So we got my boy Alex here, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen him actually a lot recently in a good amount of my videos now. But if you are not familiar with this car, this is his, what year is it? 2010. 2010 Mitsubishi, get this. Evo MR. I was gonna keep that a secret, but I mean, he ain't racing it uh, as of right now, so um, we ain't gotta keep this a secret. There you go, we ain't gotta keep this a secret. But this is an Evo MR, and in case you don't know what that means, right there, as you can see with the PRND and with the paddle shifters. This Evo is an automatic Evo. Now, I did not know about these, um, actually until one popped up one night uh, when I was hanging out at the usual spot I hang out at, and this guy had came up with his, and I had no clue about them. It's a dual clutch. It's a dual clutch transmission. Actually the same, if I'm not mistaken, same transmission, from, well, from the same manufacturers that actually made the GTR transmissions. Uh, so you can actually take a, this is this is a fun fact. You can take a built GTR transmission and throw it in these, and boom, built transmission. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? But it's the same transmission that's in the GTRs. And today, in case you can't tell from the title of the video, we're actually going to be changing the transmission fluid in it today. So yes, very important, on, especially on these cars, especially on dual clutch cars. But that's what we're doing today. Um, so of course I had to, since I'm filming this video, I had to let it out that this was an Evo MR, so boom. When you see this Evo out with us, it's a rare Evo, because not a lot of people, um, first of all, have even seen the Evo MR, not a lot of people know what these are. As a matter of fact, let me know down in the comments if you even knew that Evos came in an automatic. Okay, let's go ahead and get this out the way, make sure you get the merch. It's my zip-up jacket. Uh, actually, at the time of this recording, I would have filmed, this is my third video I'm filming today, so if it looks like I've been wearing the same clothes in the past couple videos, that's because I have, because they're literally hours apart. <laughs> but, uh, make sure you get the merch, merch link down in the description below. Make sure you check out my boy at, I think it's, it was a slow Evo? Slow Evo. Yep, I got it now. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get to the video. So real quick, just because I, I know you guys probably see the ETS, it's... Uh, is it an upgraded front mount? Okay, so I figured it was. I just wanted to make sure. So it actually is an upgraded front mount. Um, not really anything done to it. Just an intake and uh, axle back exhaust. That's that's all. Uh, not anything crazy. It's his daily driver, so he doesn't want to like you know go too crazy with it or anything like that. Especially since you need to you need to upgrade some parts before you do it. Especially with this dual clutch transmission, which one of them would be a trans cooler and. I'm pretty sure you can understand how much that must cost for a dual clutch transmission. I mean, any idea? Cheap in 200, expensive 500, 600. Yeah, and let's be honest, he's not going to go cheap and go with the $200 one. And that's just for it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the labor to put it in definitely isn't cheap. <laughs> I know that because I actually have uh, an aftermarket trans cooler on my car and it was not cheap <laughs> but yeah and that's pretty much what's all done to this car and everything by the way uh he was actually in the military so thank you for your service always like to let people know that whenever you have hero you know modern day heroes like him out here fighting for us and everything 
but yeah all right so now we're actually gonna get to us doing stuff to the car all right right now what Alex is doing here he's taking off the splitter but I just want you guys to see something because he's actually building this wants to build this car to be a, a track car not a drag car but like an autocross car um and but he has the splitter that actually has it's kind of hard to see just because it's getting darker but they have these vents here to extract the heat and I love seeing stuff like that because this is literally all function. This is SSP. <laughs> you want to hear something interesting about SSP? What? They're the ones that both made my torque converter and my trans cooler. I have an SSP torque converter and trans cooler in my FRS. Hmm. So we actually have parts from the same company. That's cool. I just found that out. <laughs> oh, that's dope. But... And by the way, fun fact, SSP also makes a built transmission for this car, but they don't make one for the automatic FRS. Help me, SSP. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's been a sponsorship. <laughs> right, let's, let's get a sponsorship. You got, you got two SSP cars here. You got an Evo MR and you got a built motor, turbo, automatic, world record FRS. <laughs> Huh? You got Alan? Alan, uh? Yeah, what, what's... There's oh, that's, there. that's it right there. There's one there, one there, and then there's a third one somewhere. Uh, let me throw the night vision on just because it's easy, easier to see. Can you point to it one more time? There's one right there. So, that bolt. One right there. That. And there's one, like, hidden back here. There we go. And we're gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and get the Allen key now so we can figure out what that is. But that's what you need in order to, um drain all of the fluid out of it and you said it's eight quarts right seven and a half to eight depend on it depends on your uh your oil cooler okay so you got stock on it so it's just seven and a half roughly seven and a half eight so i can put all eight in there be fine oh, okay all right so fun fact uh in case you can't tell just because of how dark it was under there and right now just the the camera does auto stuff to make me seem lighter and everything it's actually getting uh darker and on top of that I actually, it's actually a pretty big, here, let me show you guys real quick, where is the, whatever. Uh, I don't have the Allen key on right now, but it, it, we had a pretty big Allen key, but it actually needs uh, one even bigger. And I know for a fact Lowe has something, even if he doesn't, we, I can just go and get an Allen key and um, we can just finish this up. But because it's getting dark and everything, and that would just, I feel like that would take up too much time. We're going to go ahead and finish this up. Well, to you guys, it's going to be in a second. To us, it's going to be tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Ooh, and just like that, I told you, in a second. It's the next day. Um, yes, I'm wearing the same hoodie. Who cares? Uh, I just cut my hand. I don't know how I did it. But anyway, so, we got the car jacked up again. Uh, he actually went and got a new set. It's not big enough. It's big enough. Oh, it's big enough. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, what size is that? Oh, my hands are ashy. 516 fix. All right, so you need a 516. Yep. A little so torque bit. It. Yep. Come on. Commit. You got it. That's sharp, man. <laughs> you, got <it>. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I have faith Bruh. in you. That's right, pull it. <laughs> I'm giving you more support right now. Oh yeah, there you go. That's how you bust a good nut. Hit it and just. There it goes. Oh, my bad. Oh, nope, you're good. Oh. Luckily enough, I, I, um, <laughs> I had the wheel, I had the tire here to block me, but that definitely would have been my face. We good though. All right, so that's gonna drain in there, and you said it's about seven and a half quarts, if I'm not mistaken. Seven and a half to eight. Yeah. Liters. Oh, liters. Oh, yep. There we go. So. You got some. Oh yeah, I got, I got you, I got you. Let me, let me, uh, let me help out my buddy here. He got a little bit on his hand. So, uh, and this does have a filter that he also has to change. Uh, we're gonna get to that in a second. But that's the first that's bolt. Right I see it. So now we're gonna go to the second one, and evidently it's right there. That's the, that's just a filter. 
Oh, that's the filter. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So, but where's the? Oh, I, I see. And that's probably the second boat that's right, right there. Yeah. There's one like right here somewhere. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we can throw the camera over there. But we're gonna go ahead and get to that second boat. And again, that is a five sixteen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you good. Round two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Two blue jays. Ooh. Hi, buddies. Hi, there. Oh, it's not focusing on them because of the gate. Oh, hey. There you go, there, buddy. Oh. So make sure you got the right tools because I have this, which is what I usually use to take off. Um, like all my oil filters, but it has a very small cap. So right now we're gonna use that monkey wrench. Right? That's not a monkey wrench, what is that? Oh, we're just gonna use those pliers right there uh, to take it off. He's about to try to take, take off the filter now, but this is how it looks. There we go. Ooh, there we go. One hand in it. <laughs> You got it, strong fingers. You got them strong fingers. Strong hand. <laughs> strong hand. It's my strong hand. <laughs> Put down in the comments if you know where that movie's from. I mean, where that quote's from. What movie that quote is from. And we can look at the filter in a second. You good? You just leave it tilted up, yeah. I said we're gonna look at that filter. Look at the look at the uh, fluid in it. There you go. Wiping it. Yeah. Yeah. You see it slaps on filter, it apparently sucks, so yeah. I don't get it. I don't know if y'all can see, I was actually, I don't know if y'all can see, I was actually just looking at it, and it looks totally fine. Fluid looks fine, I mean my hands so are dirty. So the guy I was talking to saying that this can only filter out but so much stuff, and the paper one filters out a little better. Oh, okay. So there you go. There's some, there's some game. That's because that's a, what kind of filter is that? Let me see that. Oh, stainless time. steel. That's stainless steel filter, versus this one being a paper filter. And I'm gonna assume because this one's a paper and it evidently cleans it better. And I'm gonna assume since this one is a paper filter, uh, are you gonna have to change this more? Yeah, change it more often. Yeah. Okay. I figured. But I mean, I, that's a that's a great trade-off though, because as you can see, it's not even hard changing this transmission fluid. A lot of other um, cars are hard, like the F, like my FRS. My FRS is actually hard because you gotta get a spout to reach the top of it, and it's just annoying. But yeah, so now that we did that, we're just gonna go ahead and put the new filter in, and then it's time to fill it up at the top. After you change it, it's supposed to do a teach-in, which is like you reprogram the transmission. So that's why I was actually for that, that that cable, that, that adapter. Oh. So I need that. So I should be fine for a while, but. Machine to go get it and redo it. So it will, like it relearns how how the fluid reacts to the clutches moving back and forth. Oh, okay. You can get do it at the dealership, but they'll charge you like a lot, like arm and leg to do it. Okay. So I always do it myself. So you need a what is it again? The Tatrix Open Source 2.0 plug or adapter, whatever you want to call it. All right, and here we go. Like I said, the car has an axle back exhaust system and an, int and an intake. So it's got the ETS intake right there. But we're gonna be actually opening up. Is it the first or second valve right there? Let me see. Can you guys see first that? One. We're gonna be opening up that first valve right there, and I believe that might be the same size. If it is, it's a 15. 516. Oh, excuse me, 516. All right, and here we go. Transmax dual. Smooth driving and long life. Uh, I mean, for dual clutch transmission fluid, as you can see, and this is a great um, alternative versus like the OEM fluid. That's like I think I think he said it's like 200, and the OEM was like 400 bucks or something like that. Oh yeah, great it's alternative. alternative. Yeah. yeah. Um, spend the for how much? This is two two hundred ish. Depends which which website you go to. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this in and see you guys in a second. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was extremely distracted, so he's already put in quite a bit. Nah, no, it's first bottle. But, oh, first bottle, well, I mean, yeah. There you go, squeezing it in there. Oh, you can't go ham with it? That's wild. If I get like a little hole at the top, but, uh, I don't think I want that right now. Uh, what if you unscrew the... Yeah, it's fine, I might do later. After this one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and just like that, the last little bit is going down the spout. I'll come around here. And that's it. Uh, I'm gonna wait till he comes back over. We're just gonna put the bolt in. And that's how you do it. That's how you change the transmission fluid on the Evo MR. And um, actually, can you tell? Can you just? Tell, I didn't think you said it before, but can you just tell them one more time about the about the chip that you actually need to completely finish it? As a plug, Patrick Patrick's. I guess the whole thing's Patrick Patrick's open source 2.0. It's like a little adapter piece. You plug into your OBD2 port. If you got access port or something, or if you're a tuner, you know what know what it is. And then either you find the software, it's hard to get, and it took me a while to get it. And once you get it, though, it's like it like goes to step by step. It like it will flush, it will circulate the fluid, it will heat up the fluid and cool it down and vent the fluid and all that stuff. It'll it trying to relearn how it move, how it reacts with that new fluid in there finish what it's doing like it's relearning itself pretty much yeah so you guys actually aren't gonna see that um in this video oh all right it's loud too it's like not not quietly but it's loud huh yeah okay well that'll be something to look forward to but either way it won't be happening in this video um that's pretty much gonna do it for this with the Evo MR. Uh, let me know what you guys actually want to know about the Evo MR. I know I said some stuff briefly, but you know, put down in the comments anything you guys want to know, anything you want to ask them about. Um, slow, yeah. Slow, ask me to race. It's slow. Yeah, don't ask them to race. Uh, it's slow, it's, it's stock, and honestly, you don't even want, especially with this being as daily, you don't want to beat up on the car too much before you get like trans coolers and start building things like once you start making power and whatnot so yeah he basically just has simple stuff on there just to make it sound good <laughs> so don't don't go crazy with him guys not yet but that's going to conclude it for this video make sure you get the merch merch link down in the description if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe make sure you hit the bell icon and get all sorts of car videos as you can see we got some pretty pretty dope rare cars on the channel right now and as always, guys, you stay classy, stay positive, and have a good day. What is a car enthusiast? An individual that loves anything to do with cars and its counterparts. And one who can talk for hours about cars and not get tired of it.